Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul, this is Janet. Um, we're on the road, we've just left Ella. We're on the road, we're going to see the elephants today. The B35 highway goes straight through the middle of the national park and there's elephants all along the road, but knowing my luck, we won't see any because you guys that have been following me know. But this is the country that we'll be traveling through. This is the famous rock of Ella. And um, I'm waffling, we're going to take a few photos here and then we'll hit the road, hopefully see some elephants. It's a little bit scary when you do see them, I'm told. And people have been feeding them from tuk-tuks, so they kind of think that tuk-tuks uh, have food. So they can get a bit aggressive, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll live. Well guys, Janet wanted to stop and get a hair tie, so she's just been looking in this shop. But look where we stopped, unbelievable. And we came on the highway from that way, so this would have been behind us. If we hadn't have stopped, we might not have seen this at all. Just amazing. And we're maybe 15 minutes south of Ella. Just stop, Janet's having a coconut. Have a bit of a stretch, we'll get some petrol. And then we'll go and see some elephants, we hope. I hope so, cross your fingers, baby. And when you see these lions here, guys, and this archway, this is the beginning of the famous B35. Now this goes through the national parks, so hopefully, We'll see some elephants. Now, everyone that I've, video that I've seen of people that have done this road, they've all stood here, or maybe not stood here, but they've all said, I hope we see some elephants. And they always do. So, if we don't see any today, we'll be the unluckiest people in the world. But those that follow my channel know that um, I'm not the luckiest person when it comes to seeing things. Places are always shut when I go there, but Let's hope we see some elephants, baby. Yeah, it's ready, but I don't want that it can take in his ass. Baby, no. Baby, I need the big camera. Film the elephant, don't film the Here. Another guy in a GoPro, like a local, just went flying past. But after that last little incident, we're a bit scared. Look at my poor baby. Look at this. Oh, poor Janet. Look at her shirt, guys. That's blood. That bit's a bit of betadine that I put on her ear just in case. That was a little scary. The second one was okay, but guys, don't. We had fruit and we put it in a sealed esky because we thought that would be all right. <laughs> That's what the monk, that's what the elephant took. That was he was after the esky, stomped his foot on it, and then he left us alone. But that was a bit scary, wasn't it, baby? And the second one, an, a local went past in a tuk tuk. So we watched him just go past them at a safe speed. Don't stop, just keep going, and they'll leave you alone. But yeah, that was a bit of a <laughs> that was scary, wasn't it, baby? Look at this guys, just uh, the highway goes that way, but we saw this not far in the distance, so we thought we'd come and have a look. Janet bought a few lilies to leave as an offering. Isn't this amazing? These, these two guys here were just telling us this is 2,300 years old. When he started saying 2,000, I thought he was going to say 2,003 or something. Unbelievable. And this is home for tonight. Looking out over the lake. Really quite nice. Um, it was maybe 
35 US a night, but after being attacked by an elephant, I think we decided Janet deserved a bit of luxury. Yeah. A relaxing breakfast by the lake. It really was a relaxing night. 35 US, like I said, but it was worth it, wasn't it, baby, for a yes. night? Yeah. So, off to Gaul today. And um, we'll explore Gaul. Oh, sorry guys, I had such a good night's sleep, I can, can't get started, not my normal talkative self. Yeah, we're having our lunch break at this little restaurant, really nice, a nice outside bit with a fan. We're just having a snack, a bit of a break before we've got about another two hours to go. Yeah guys, the other day when we were waiting for the train to go to um, Ella, we met this Italian guys, I can't remember if I put them on video, but one of them owns this shop in Marissa. Um, ice cream, he told me it was the best ice cream in, in Sri Lanka, and I haven't eaten much ice cream here, but it was pretty good. Say hello guys. Hello. Hey guys, the ice cream shop was in Marissa, a little surfy town, uh, maybe an hour east of Gaul. Um, yeah, and it's called the Milky Wave. Really good ice cream guy, really good. Um, this is our balcony at our hotel in Gaul. But we'll show you more of that in the next video. Well, we're at the Ivy having dinner. Our first night in, where are we? Gaul. Gaul. And we're having fish and rice. Janet's having a tuna steak. Look at this. The ivy in Gaul. Oh gosh, that was an amazing couple of days. And Gaul, the, the Janet and I both keep saying it. It's so much like Cartagena where we first met. Well, and Janet was just telling me it was 16 years ago, was it, baby? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway guys, I've got plenty of footage to make a video and tomorrow we'll start a dedicated Gaul video about the fort. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. You may as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment, give us a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can, and we'll see you in the next one.